Well, good morning, everybody. How is everyone? And if you feel like it, and if you're able to, feel free to turn the cameras on. I'd love to see you. Um, Chad and I are really always excited to do these things. It really helps our day go better. And um, so let's get into it. Hopefully. There we go. So uh, AMX, um, as you know, we've got um, 13 brands. So AMX is one of our brands. Um, we have this Ascendo Vibe, which is really cool. And as a matter of fact, a lot of, a lot of people are using this now um, in their home offices, just sitting on their desk under their monitor um, or mounting it on a wall. Uh, the Ascendo Vibe is really a cool um, soundbar with a camera. So uh, the, let's talk about the audio. The audio itself, it's uh, JBL um, inside the box. Um, it has a far field microphone built into it. So basically everybody in that room will be heard. Um, what I really like about this is that the microphone itself has uh, integrated DSP and it's got the the um, echo cancellation, the AEC built in. So it will automatically, um, I think if you've, uh, we've all had a lot of Zoom and WebEx calls now where you get that person talking in that room and what you hear more than their voice is actually the room itself. So that AEC will help that and it will also help the feedback loop you get if you're using, um, uh, you know, hearing the audio back and forth, it'll help that from happening. So that's a really nice feature to have, um, especially working from home. Um, it has the HDMI in, so you can connect your laptop right to the soundbar, and it also has the HDMI out that'll go right to your, your monitor itself. Um, it has Bluetooth, analog in, and it has optical in. So the camera, let's talk about the camera. The camera is really nice. It is a 110 degree field of view. Uh, so basically, it's able to capture, you know, a wide audience. Um, I would say 30 feet would be kind of your max. This, this uh, soundbar with camera was designed for like huddle type spaces. That's why this thing is perfect for home use, because it's really meant for the more up close, uh, more intimate type of setting. Um, the camera can be tilted. Um, you can actually rotate it if you wanted privacy, you know, I don't know about you guys. Some, some people I know put tape over their cameras. This one, you could just take the camera and rotate it all the way around and turn it. It would face the wall or face away. Um, there's a ring around the camera that tells you what the status is. It'll let you know that, you know, that the camera's on or if it's off. Um, again, HDMI input, output. Um, and then also there's um, the, the CEC uh, is basically just a, a smart connection. So it will know when you disconnect on the, uh, uh, the output, it'll know to turn off the system. So um, that's kind of cool. Um, let's see. So uh, as you can see in the picture that it's got a really nice design. It's got a real easy uh, wall mount setup. Um, the materials they used are really nice looking. So if you've got a really nice home office, this thing would uh, look really good on the wall below your, um, your monitor or on, just sitting on your desk. Um, there is a remote. Um, if, for anybody that doesn't know what start and countertop material is, it's just an acrylic type countertop. So it's got that that uh, that sort of ceramic acrylic type feel um, to it as, as well as the grill cloth. So it looks really nice. That's basically all uh, gray or black. Um, the gray is kind of like an off white looking, which you kind of see in this picture. Um, so you can see how simple the design is. It's the bracket mounts to the wall and you've got a tilt away design so you can actually get um, get to your your cabling and then if you can see right where it says cables on the top and the bottom there's little velcro strips that actually will hold the cables tight so that when you're flipping it in and out it kind of just holds it in place it's got really good strain relief that's nice 
Okay, there also is a remote for this. Um, it's Bluetooth paired, so you can set it anywhere on your desk, and you've got, you know, ending your call, volume, mute. It's really a nice little feature. You don't have to reach up to the actual uh, sound bar itself other than to turn the camera around. Uh, you've got everything controllable right there. And then basically it's your AA batteries will last for a long time. So it's a nice little feature and it's really cool. It kind of sets at an angle on your desk. So this is basically how you wire it. Bring your own laptop. That's what, uh, bring your own, uh, bring your own display <laughs> BYOD laptop. <laughs> um, so yeah, just connect your laptop. The USB portion of it will give you control function. Um, and the HDMI will pass your video. Then also, if you didn't have your laptop and you just wanted to do a quick meeting, you got your cell phone on you, you can actually connect with Bluetooth and use, use apps on your Skype on your phone, you know, Zoom on your phone, Cisco on your phone. It'll Bluetooth right to it. Pretty nice. So we do have a non-camera series as well. Um, and I wanted to kind of show this, uh, show this display um, so that you can kind of see um, what the different features are. Um, the 5100 series, 2100 series. You got sound by JBL, far field microphones, uh, USB connection. Um, so if you wanted to just get the sound bar to have nice sound um, <laughs> with the microphone, you could do that without the camera and then use your own camera. So that's another option. If you didn't, you wanted that, that sound, but you didn't really need the camera because you already have a good one. So that's another way to do it. Wall mounted Bluetooth camera. Uh, then you'll get your camera HDMI in and out and your CEC display control. Now we're going to switch gears and get into some fun stuff. That's the AMX stuff that I, I kind of know about because I've dealt with AMX for many years personally when I was an integrator and when I was a sales rep uh, for Harman. So now we're getting into stuff that I really know about too as well. Um, we have this, uh, basically we call it the, we called it the podcaster essentials kit. Um, and then with this whole epidemic thing that happened, this is a really good kit um, uh, for the money. You're getting a really high end audio kit uh, that, that your meetings can be amazing in. Uh, this podcaster kit comes with our new Lyra USB microphone. And then it also uh, comes with the, the AKG K371. Uh, they're closed back uh, foldable headphones. And these are the actual uh, K371. These are not Bluetooth. These are hardwired um, headphones that come in this kit. And I'll explain why later. So, so you can kind of see the K371. They're just super comfortable. You can wear them for long periods of time and not, not get that fatigue. Um, the padding is really soft and really pliable. And it just molds to your head. It's really great especially my big old head. Um, so uh, now we're gonna get into the K371 and the K361. Um, they come in the wired version, like the 371 in the Podcaster Essentials Kit, but we also released the K361 Bluetooth and the 371 Bluetooth version. What's nice about these is now, these actually have um, uh, your wire-free, and then if you kind of see the little dots on the, be the, the right ear, um, that is the microphone. So this headphone can be used Bluetooth or you can actually hardwire it um, to your laptop. Um, it comes with either way. Um, and this enables you to be able to be hands-free and you can walk around the room and still be on a call. Um, these were originally designed for that podcaster, vlogger, that kind of thing. But these are absolutely wonderful and fun if you wanted to do your Zoom calls all day, like me, and then go into the studio and actually sing a song. <laughs> you can do either. 
So they're designed for producers, magicians, magicians. Well, I guess magicians would use it. Pod, podcasters, YouTubers, vloggers, gamers, home office people. Um, and again, f for the price, these things actually sound amazing. And we're going to keep going and I'll get into some of the uh, um, features of it. Again, uh, extended low frequency, long wearing comfort. As I said, fo you could fold them up when you need to throw them into your laptop bag and not go anywhere because none of us are going anywhere right now. Okay, so product overviews, let's go through it. So the 361 and the 371 basically have the same look and feel, right? So we're gonna kind of go through what the differences are between them. One second, I had the, um, so they're completely adjustable um, for that for that comfortable fit. Um, and again, we use 50 millimeter um, diaphragm. So you're, we're able to get lower frequencies than most of our competitors. And then you can see here is an example of it being able to be folded up, um, which is kind of nice because I don't know how many times I've actually broken headphones because they weren't foldable and I had to travel around with them. So they swivel um, and there's sometimes when you want to wear just one ear like I'm doing right now. These are some AKG earbuds that came with my Samsung phone that I'm uh, just using one ear. So sometimes you want to do that. And I actually have done that actually in the recording studio too where I want to hear my, my natural acoustic voice so that I'm not talking too loud. So yes, again, I know I jump ahead because I know these products so well. Uh, we have a 50 millimeter transducer. So we're able to get lower extension. Um, that is just incredibly wonderful. Um, so as you can see, there's your frequency responses. The K361 is the cheaper version. It goes down to 15 Hertz. Um, and any of you that don't know, Basically, the human ear spectrum that we all build our stuff from is from 20 hertz up to 20K. So that's kind of what the human ear is more or less able to hear. Not really. I, I don't think I can hear above of 14 or 15K just because I've been a musician for many years and a lot of that stuff has faded on me. But. And then lower sub frequencies like below 40 Hertz, you're kind of not really hearing it. you will be more of a feel type of thing. So as you can see, these things will get down uh, very low for you below what you can hear. Um, and then also something interesting to know when you're shopping for headphones, the lower the impedance number on the headphone, the louder they'll get it. And you might want to, think to yourself going, well, I don't want them to get loud. But what you don't want is something that is, um, the impedance is not right where you're turning it up on your computer and it starts distorting, which means that uh, the impedance match is just not working right and it's the audio signal is breaking up. So having a lower impedance number, the, the, the sound quality will be a lot better. You'll be able to get it to a comfortable level without having any sort of dist distortion or any audio nuances that make it sound poopy, for lack of a better word. <laughs> okay, so as I said, this foam pads, they're designed to wear for a long time. They have a slow, slow retention, so they just get really comfortable. They just mold to your head. And then the other part of it is you don't get the audio leakage. So um, if you've ever heard that loop back on, on, a, on a conference call where somebody's just using the laptop speakers and the laptop microphone and you start getting that loop back, that's a lot of, has a lot to do with there's no echo cancellation and it also has a lot to do with the speaker is getting into the microphone of the laptop and it's causing a loop. Um, so that would prevent this as well. 
Um, and if you're, you know, ended up doing any sort of audio recording, you don't want any leakage anyway, because that'll get into your microphone of what you're trying to record. So again, they're super comfortable. They, you'll wear them for a long, for the hundred video calls you have every single day. You could wear it all day long. <laughs> uh, I know I crack myself up. Um, so freedom of Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5.0. Um, you can get up to 40 hours of Bluetooth time on, on the headphones. Um, so again, like I said, if, if the battery dies, you've got a hybrid wire. You could hardwire, plug it right in. These aren't the K371s, but we, when we design them, this is a JBL headphone that has the same sort of design where you can just hardwire it and use it direct. Um, the USB port on it is for charging only and for any sort of, uh, if they want to do any sort of firmware update. So again, there's the built-in microphone. So you just basically connect Bluetooth, put them on your head and start talking. And we'll just kind of hit some of these so you can read along. Yep, that's a kind of nice feature too. It's the gesture swipe. Um, and that's swipe, S-C-H-W-I-P-E, like I just said. <laughs> so you can adjust the volume just swiping your finger. So it's just like a little, you remember the old uh, iPods where you just use the touch surface. You can just swipe it and adjust the volume. That makes it really nice. So again, there's your look of your, your USB for charging. That is if you choose to do a hard wire. And there's your on and off switch for your, um, to turn your Bluetooth on and off. Look, I beat it to the punch. Okay, so one of the main differences between the K361 Bluetooth and the K371 Bluetooth is this right here. Um, the 371 is more expensive because that we put our AKG reference curve in there. Um, this has been, uh, I guess the best way to describe it is to tell you about the room that they, that they have for this. They have this anechoic type chamber and they have a dummy head that has all kinds of sensors on it. Um, and they can put this headphone on and they can actually tune this thing and listen to what it's doing. It's super, super cool to watch them turn this machine on and, and start uh, tuning headphones. Um, not many people do this, but um, they do a lot of research with headphones and diaphragms and how do they sound and how are they responding. Um, and they basically have this AKG reference curve uh, that they were able to put in there. These things sound absolutely amazing. Don't get me wrong, the K360 ones sound incredible but you, you definitely would notice the difference between the two. There's a lot more fidelity um, in the 371. It's really cool. So this is what it'll look like when everybody orders one today. <laughs> um, this is what the product boxes look like. They're really nice full color um, boxes. So again, just to recap, the 371 has the um, reference tuning, the extended base. So the 371 will go lower in, in base. Um, you will probably, most people probably wouldn't hear the difference, but um, really tuned ears will probably be able to say that. Um, these things, either one of these will sound really good for what you're being able to do at home. And then when you're in between calls, your music will sound really good as you're streaming stuff. Um, yep, the, the Mini XLR comes with the K361. So it's the X, Mini XLR is what connects to the headphone itself. And then you have the, the tip ring uh, sleeve, the TRS, the eighth inch to plug into your laptop. Um, let's see what else we got. 
free capping on on the the commercial part of it the sound the comfort the mobility the build quality these were built really well okay so that's that's it for that thank you there and now we're going to go into the lyra so um it's been hard for me because i've been a part of this this um product release um since the beginning of it um and for a long time in the office we were calling it the lyra but the official name it's the lyra that's what you call it um this is an ultra high high definition multi uh, uh, multi-mode usb mic so this microphone is designed to plug right into your usb port on your laptop which will give you two-way audio pass right so you'll be able to um, have the microphone be sent into your laptop and then you also be able to plug the headphones in to the actual Lyra itself and be able to hear yourself talking. And we're going to get into all the details. So again, this was designed for the podcaster, the, the video bloggers, right? It's got a really neat retro design. Um, it comes with the stand that you see there, but you can actually take it off the stand and you can mount it to a microphone stand if you wanted to. Um, basically, just these are just showing you what we targeted um, prior to this event. Um, but I, I added down here on the bottom, non-recording customers. This microphone is wonderful to be present in your meetings and to sound good. Um, on your on your zoom your skype your teams calls right and then you can stop what you're doing and record a song and sing in it <laughs> um the target applications i'll kind of go through these a little bit um and and the other part is it's totally because it's digital you can record yourself so really simple on the front of it we're going to go into details of what these buttons mean uh, it's got a really neat look to it. And then there's the look of where your headphones would plug in on the right and your USB, uh, mini USB would plug in there and go to your computer. So it makes it real simple. So this is an actual 4K compatible um, microphone. So it will go up to 192 kilohertz at 24 bit. Um, all through a USB 2.0. So it's really, really high end audio. Um, so again, we put our AKG signature sound in it, 70 years of experience. AKG has been around for a long time. We make, if there's anything that we make really, really well is headphones and microphones. We do them very well. Um, our diaphragms are like no other. Um, the material that we use has almost no sound to it. So if you're thinking about when you're listening to headphones, those diaphragms are moving, right? Well, anything that's moving would make a sound. So we even painstakingly go in through and find materials that don't make a sound when they move. And that's even in our microphone diaphragms. When you're talking into a microphone, that diaphragm is, is vibrating. And that material could potentially make noise, which would be actually heard and recorded. So this is where we win a lot because we've do been doing this for a long time, 70, 70 plus years. There are four microphone capsules in this microphone. Um, and that's what we're going to get into is what those buttons are on the front. Because if you are doing a, uh, if you're doing a, 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 a a webinar where you have another person, there's a way that you could set it up to where two people can actually be using the microphone. So we're going to get into it. And then also very little latency. So when you actually are talking and you're listening to yourself monitoring back, you're not hearing a delay where you actually say something and you're hearing your voice come delay. So it's a low latency. So you're able to hear yourself and it not be uncomfortable. Okay. There are four capsules. So what we've done is stripped off the grill so you can see how the capsules are set up in here. 
And if you notice, there's four of them, two one way and two the other. So what that gives you is that gives you these different setups. So if you're just like me right now, sitting here talking to you, I would have it set up on the front. If I have another person that's sitting in a table across from me, you would set it, just push the button until you have the front back setting. If you have uh, maybe two people left and right talking or singing into the mic closely, do your tight stereo. If you've got multiple people sitting at your table, at your table, put it on the wide stereo and you'll be able to hear all the way around. So it gives you a lot of versatility. And the other, the other sales point to this too is when this is all over um, and we have a cure and we have, you know, things that, and we go back to our normal lives, this is a, a microphone that can be used for other things, right? You can use it at your desk when you go back to your office. Um, it can be used for many things. So I'm always a big fan of finding stuff that I can buy that's a good tool for me to use now that can also be something I can use going forward on other things. So, and this is a really good microphone for that. So it's a good selling point. So again, there you go. So you've got the, the knob on the top is actually a dial. So it's an encoder where you can turn up and down your headphones when you're monitoring, listening. And it's also a push button. So you can push that in and select your front, your front back, your tight stereo and your wide stereo. And then of course, if you didn't want to talk, you just reach up and hit the mute button. Similar to the remote control on the, uh, uh, the Vibe, you've got the remote control where you can mute and unmute yourself. It makes it real simple because the microphone's gonna be sitting right in front of you. And look at me, I jumped ahead. <laughs> so it gives you all the, uh, all the bullet points that I just told you about. How are we doing on time, Michael? I think we're still in that half hour. Okay, so the back controls. The back part of this is where you would set up your, um, oh, I take that back. The front is just the dial for your volume of your headphones. I digress. So let me go back. I don't want to confuse anybody. So A is just your microphone, your headphone volume. Your button to be able to push your pattern controls is on the back. See, I was in the very beginning of this and we went back and forth on extra buttons. So it just made sense to put it separate. So there's your capture mode of what you want on the front of the microphone. Whether you want front, back, uh, front, tight, or wide stereo. Sorry if I confused you guys. Okay, so we're going on. So there's your capture mode that'll change your microphone pattern. And then there's your microphone gain, which is kind of nice because it, it being a USB microphone, it doesn't force you to have to go to the settings in your laptop to be able to adjust your gain. You can just adjust it right there on the back of the mic. Again, a very sim simple design. You can adjust the angle, tilt it forward. The yoke is tiltable all thumb screws so you don't need any special tools and then it's also designed to be able to use on a mic stand or a boom stand or if you have like one of those desk clamp stands you can use it like a radio type dj would and i think i saw questions coming in so and please i love questions because it's if you've ever done this before it's really hard to talk to yourself on a webinar i love to see uh see faces and hear voices because it always makes a lot of fun. So I expect a lot of discussions after this would be fun. Uh, compatibility. It's compatible with everything. Android, Apple, Windows. Um, now, what we're going to get into is we're going to get into um, that compatibility and what you probably need to do for like a Windows type of setup. So again, just to summary, summarize. You got four capsules, so you can get really close for one person, or you can get all the way around the table. Plug and play. Um, again, you can adjust it however you want in your room or in your desk. Um, it's very high-end audio. 
Um, and then you've got the, the, the controls for being able to monitor your, to your headphones with low latency so you don't hear yourself delaying. And then, you know, we got 70 years of experience in, this mic in these capsules, so they sound amazing. And then also it does have overload protection. So if you were to drop something and make a loud noise or knock the microphone over um, or scream really loud in it and you had the gain set really high, it has overload protection built in. So you, it makes it really hard to, to destroy this thing. So what comes in the package? You get the microphone with the desktop stand, your USB to US, USB-C to A cable. Um, another little nice feature, we put in a registration card for a free version of Ableton Live 10 Lite, um, which is really nice. Um, there's a little microphone stand adapter in there. Um, the um, England, uh, Europe uses a different little microphone. It's a smaller thread, um, which you can use or not use. Uh, quick start guide, warranty, all that stuff. So here's some of the specs. Um, let's go to just, just the important stuff. Um, again, your frequency response on the microphone is the entire human ear spectrum, 20 to 20. Uh, your bit rate's 24 by 192. Uh, the SPL is quite loud. So if you're in a really quiet room, you'd be able to get a really up close uh, personal sound on your, on your voice. Uh, power requirements, typical USB voltage. So it makes it nice. Uh, again, notice that the impedance on the headphone is 16 ohms. If you start looking around at, at headphones, specifically like headphones you would normally use in your office for like a phone call, Look at the impedance. I, I bet if you, you'll start seeing like 27 ohms, maybe 32 ohms. And as you turn up your, your computer, uh, you'll start noticing that they start distorting or breaking up. Um, whereas this, if you turn your computer up, um, I think on these little buds, I've got, the, I've got it all the way turned up. Um, and it sounds amazing. It sounds really good and really, in, in, really present. Okay, let's see. Now, this is what I wanted to uh, focus on a little bit. So all the different platforms, all your different operating systems. So if you've got a Mac, PC, Android, or iOS, um, it's, it, your, your connectivity is gonna be pretty easy because most, most computers and laptops have um, the USB-A version. Um, Let's see, OS driver. So anything Apple on the drivers, this is what I wanted to go through. Um, basically, the drivers are built in, you plug it in, it, it will work on any Apple product. Windows, you probably will need to make sure that when you're um, working with it in Windows, there is a thing called, um, you can use the default Windows driver built in but if you're gonna try and do higher resolutions, like up to 192, the ASIO for all, you may have to download that to be able to do higher resolutions. For what we're doing with webcam, just use your um, Wasapi, um, your default Windows uh, driver, that's totally fine. But if you wanted to do really high definition podcasting recording, because you've got a 4K video going on, then you probably want to make sure you have that driver just in case because diff different laptops and different uh, PCs will react differently. RAM and, and processing speed all have a lot to do with it. Um, again, iOS. Um, let's see. You may need, again, on the iOS, you may need an optional, optional uh, camera adapter and connection to a power USB hub, so you may have to do, voltage might be an issue. Um, the driver should work. Um, and then in Android, um, it requires OTG compatibility. All right, this is just a little bragging. 
uh, where we win. We got 70 plus years in acoustics experience with headphone drivers and uh, microphone capsules. Um, we, our sample rate is higher than anybody out there on the market. Um, and then it's really simple. You just plug it in and go. Makes sense, everybody. So I'm almost about done here so we can leave some time for questions and just it'd be really good to hear some of your voices. And I'm talking to you, Mr. Chris Rossini. I know you're on there. <laughs> uh, one little thing since we have a little bit of time. Um, just another thing I was thinking about when I was putting this deck together. There's going to be a need for some public speaking and probably in places that we never thought of. Uh, first thing that came to mind was on the news that the, it's required here in California that there be some sort of security um, at every grocery store, Sam's Club, or Costco enforcing the six-foot distance. So wouldn't it be nice to have a compact PA system that's battery-powered that could help that security person to say, hey, remember, you need to stay six feet apart. Um, uh, schools are going to be a little different. Maybe some more, some things are going to be done more outside. Um, so we have the Eon One, which is not a battery powered, um, but it is a portable PA that folds all up into the sub cabinet and you can hand carry it wherever you want. The Eon One Pro is a battery powered, can last up upwards of six hours uh, on a battery charge. And then we also have the Eon One Compact, which is a real lightweight version high SPL output, four channel mixer, uh, up to 12 hours with swappable battery. Um, that is just a really, really good, all of these have Bluetooth, so you could stream music if you want, you could plug in a microphone. So I wanted to kind of get thinking about, this is a possibility, put that in your head, that there's gonna be a need for public speaking where we haven't thought of needing public speaking before. And I can't imagine but now I can imagine having something like this sitting at, at a hardware store or grocery store where somebody on a microphone saying, hey, sir, you need to step back. You're a little too close. And it's an easier way to do it. Looks like the, the company is organized and has a plan for keeping everybody safe. 